Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to the second part of Create 8 for this month. I am featuring stamps and dies from the latest release by my favorite things and for the first card that I'm sharing today I will be using this stamp set. So this is the X and O's and uh, you can also get matching dies where you will get the hearts, the little O's, the X's as well as the grid for your tic-tac-toe. And there are lovely sentiments perfect for friendship cards as well as for Valentine's Day. Now there are different bits and pieces if you want to combine with this stamp set and go dimensional on your card. So there is this uh, little pouch that is uh, packed with plastic hearts that they have uh, quite of dimension and you can place them inside that grid. And uh, there are also plastic pieces like O's and X's as well as the grid in black and white. So there are lots of options with this stamp set. You can use the plastic grids to go dimensional or you can uh, just stamp and go totally flat or even you can use the matching dies. Just mix and match all the different pieces and have fun with it. Now there is also available this uh, frame square and uh, die that um, you can combine with these plastic pouches that are also square that fit nicely inside those frames. So if you want to go dimensional and create a shaker card of, with that tic-tac-toe inside, you can see that it fits perfectly there. Now from the included uh, sayings, I have uh, picked the one that says you are tic-tac totally awesome and that's because I didn't want to create a Valentine's Day card or a card that you need to give to a loved one. This is more neutral and you can give it to pretty much anyone. Now as you can see, I'm, I have already used the square frame and cut out a window on this piece of uh, white cardstock and now I want to have uh, two different colors on my stamp so I am going to mask off the second line that says awesome and I'm just going to stamp the first line that says you are tic tac totally with black ink I'm going to remove my masking tape there and then I'm going to close the door of my stamping platform and just because I didn't get a, quite of a good vibrant impression, I'm going to repeat the process again. And that's the good thing of having a stamping platform. So I'm doing it again. Don't forget to remove the masking tape. Ask me how I know. Now I'm going to stamp once more and I get a great impression here. So I will go on and stamp the second uh, uh, the second line of the sentiment that says awesome. Now just because I will go for a white, black and a red theme here for my card, I want to have this word in red. The color I'm using is called Poppy by My Favorite Things. I'm going to close the door and I will get a perfect impression from the first time. Now I'm going to prepare the window for the shaker elements. So at the back of my panel I used some white glue and now I'm going to put this on top of the plastic pouch. I'm going to press with my fingers for a few seconds just to make sure that I have a nice bond. Now for the back of uh, your window you can use any pattern paper that you like. I decided to go quite bold. Now depending on the pattern paper you can choose black or white grid. Just because I want to go bold I decided to use black cardstock at the back and that's why I will use the white grid to have some contrast. So I'm going to place my little hearts inside the grid. I'm also going to place some of the O's in different places and I'm not going to fill in the whole grid. And then I'm going to cover the back with the black piece of paper. Now you can leave the front of your window as it is, it looks beautiful as it is. And, uh, but I decided to use the frame, so I'm uh, going to add it in red, just because I think it makes it look more finished. And to finish off my card, I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base that's in red and it's a standard sized card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. For my next card, I'm going to use this beautiful Merry Christmas greeting stamp. And um, I think that this is so beautiful that it can be the focal point on your card. And it's perfect for mass producing beautiful Christmas cards. So I am stamping that on top of a, a white panel. And I have actually used uh, the stitching rectangle dies to cut it out. So this has a beautiful stitching. And I end up having a beautiful sentiment at the center of my panel. 
Now to embellish my card a little bit, I'm going to stamp a few of those images from this stamp set which is called Dashing Deer. And this stamp set has beautiful images like two uh, adorable deers as well as a little bunny. But I'm actually going to go with the two little birdies for this card. And I'm also going to stamp a few of the mistletoes that are available. At this stage I didn't exactly know which ones I'm going to use. So I went ahead and stamped a bunch just to have some options later on for my card. I used my alcohol markers to add some color on these images and just because they are so tiny, it was a really quick coloring. I used the matching dies to cut out all the elements and now it's time to assemble my card. This is going to be a very simple looking card but so beautiful at the same time. Now, uh, as you can uh, probably notice, I have already changed the format of my monthly event create date. So instead of uh, posting eight cards in one video, I am posting four one day and four on another day. And this is going to help uh, my video not to be as fast forward as uh, it usually is. Let me know in the comments below if you like this format more than the previous one. I think it's better because uh, you get to see the products more and it's not as fast forward as it was. But I really value your feedback so let me know below. So if you notice I have placed the little birdies as if they are standing on top of my sentiment. And now I'm going to do the finishing touches so I'm adding some shine on their hats. And I'm also going to use some um, nouveau drops on top of the little berries. The one I'm using is the clear one, it's going to dry completely transparent, but you can also use uh, glossy accents if you have that. Now for this card I had to go back to a stamp I used in part A, so that's the Happy Poly Day stamp set. I think those uh, guys are so adorable and I had to use at least uh, one of them again. So I was debating on which one of the puppies I will use. So this guy won, finally. I'm going to stamp him with licorice black ink, that's by my favorite things. And that's actually an ink pad that is... Uh, friendly to alcohol markers so it's not going to smudge or smear and I'm going to use my Spectrum Noirs to color everything. When I am sharing more than one card on uh, a video then I usually edit out all the coloring that I do and that's just because these type of videos are quite long and I like to focus more on how to put everything together and how to design your card rather than how I colored all the images. And I also have to apologize about my voice. I've been having a cold this week, but I think I am recovering today. I feel much better. After coloring my puppy, I used the matching dye to cut it out. And I need a few more elements for my card. So I'm going to use this ring that says uh, Happy Holidays all around it. There is another one from this release that says Merry Christmas. It's uh, great for creating shaker cards as well, but I'm not going to use it as a window or a shaker card for this card. So I have this uh, sparkling piece of uh, paper that uh, is a leftover from uh, a card that I made for part A. And uh, I'm going to cut out a snowflake. And before cutting it out, I made sure that it fits perfectly inside my circle. At the back of the snowflake, I'm going to add a few dots of glue in uh, different areas. And I'm going to stick that at the center of my circle. I have added some tape adhesive at the back of my puppy. And I'm going to stick him just next to the snowflake and look how nicely they nest together. So I'm adding some glue at the back of my sentiment there. I'm going to stick it on top of this white panel. And by the way, I have cut out this panel by using the stitched rectangle dies. So I do have a beautiful stitching around it that always gives a nice finishing touch. Now I'm going to assemble everything on top of that. I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back of my focal point, which is going to give it a little bit of dimension. Now this is going to go directly at the center of my sentiment. And uh, although I have covered up half of it, you can uh, totally read what that says. I used foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick that on top of a standard card. And I really liked how nice and simple that looks, so I'm not going to add anything else on top. And 
And let's move on to the last card for today. I am using the little girl and uh, this month the stamp set is called uh, Nice List. I am stamping her with uh, Licorice Black by My Favorite Things and I'm going to color her with my alcohol markers and then use the matching dye to cut her out. Now I have this golden cardstock and I'm placing uh, those rectangle dies one insta inside the other to create a frame. However, I changed my mind and uh, I decided instead of using the frame to use only the inside panel, but I am keeping the frame for a future card. I have uh, already cut out those uh, snowflakes out of the same uh, cardstock as the golden panel and now I have chosen one of uh, the sentiments that says be merry and I'm going to place it on top of my acrylic uh, block on an angle so it matches the curve on the list. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment there and you can see how nicely it follows the curve. And by the way, this comes from a stamp set that is called Snow Globe Sentiments and these are actually all sentiments that fit nicely inside that panel that you add below the snow globe. But they are so tiny, so uh, they match perfectly that uh, list the little girl is holding. So now I'm going to do some uh, assembling. I'm going to stick here on top of uh, a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am using foam tape at the back since you all know that I love dimension. And notice how I'm not going to stick this panel at the center of my card base, but rather on the right side, so I do have a bigger border on the other side. And that's where I'm going to stick all those snowflakes coming out from the gold panel, which is going to give more uh, interest on my card. For sticking my snowflakes, I am adding a dot of glue at the center of the snowflakes and this is going to uh, allow them for some dimension since they are not going to lay flat, completely flat, on top of my card. And here are all the four cards that I shared today using supplies from the last release by My Favorite Things. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those four cards was your favorite. I hope you will all have a lovely weekend and see you on Monday.